Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I'm Pastor Abu Fori from River Core International Church. I come your way one more time to bring you glad tidings, to share the gospel with you, to share the word of God, as I keep saying all the time, the word that is able to give you an inheritance. The word that is powerful enough to trigger a miracle, to trigger a breakthrough in your life. I want to share the word of God with you. I've entitled, If God Be With You. If God Be With You. And I'm taking a reading from Romans chapter number 8 and the verse number uh, from 31. The Bible says, it's a, a bit of reading, so please just watch me, right? What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? <laughs> if God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, is if God is away with us. If God is for us, who can be against us? I don't know this year or last year or this month or this week who is against you. I don't know who is working against you, who is fighting you, who is conspiring against you, who wants to bring you down. The Bible says, if God be for you, who? It's a personality. Who can be against you? Absolutely nothing in this world can stand against you if God is with you. Now, it says that, he who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with us also freely give us all things? Well, who shall bring a charge? My good shall bring a charge against God's elect. It is God who justifies. So if God is for you, who shall bring a charge against you? It reminds me Jesus caught a woman. You know, the Pharisees and the people caught the woman in adultery and they brought the lady, the woman to light. They brought her to Jesus. Therefore, they were bring her to light, not knowing that they were bringing him before the light of the world. Guess what? Jesus said, if any one of you without sin, if I've never sinned before, you will be the first person to throw a stone against her. Jesus, God was for her, so God interceded, God intercepted, and God brought deliverance to her. The Bible tells me again that Paul the Apostle, the Bible says that, you know, a snake, the Bible says, like like wrapped itself around his hand and the people were expecting that Paul would die but the Bible said because God was for Paul because God was with Paul Paul survived the attack of the enemy I don't know who's against you this week I don't know who is planning something against you, but I prophesy into your life that as long as God is for you, nothing can stand against you. It can be the mountain, it can be people, it can be spirits, it can be a family, it can be your close friends, it can be a church. Whatever is against you, be assured that if God is for you, if God is is for you if god stands behind you as a mighty warrior he will fight as a warrior god is a gentleman god is powerful god is also a military man so god can fight for you god can stand with you i don't know again who is against you it might be an old friend a present friend a current friend it could be somebody you love and now they hate you the key the most important factor is that is god for you is god by your side i came to assure you that if you are saved then god is for you god is by your side do not worry about what the enemy is doing god has got your back god will protect you the lord bless and keep you may he protect you may he bless you with abundant blessings may he fill your house with plentiful blessings may your storehouse be full may you grow and increase may you do more may doors be open for you i bless you in the name of jesus christ i pray god bless you